Yachts are consistently used as status symbols by the rich and famous. While most people are struggling to pay their bills, a handful of the world's ultra-wealthy are pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into mega-yachts that function like floating mansions, complete with every luxury available. In fact, most of these yachts are worth far more than even the most opulent homes. From Russian oligarchs to Saudi princes, these vessels are the crown jewel of the world's most elite individuals. Today, we are counting down the top 10 most expensive yachts. The superyacht Polaris is named after the Greek word Polorios, which means vast. At a length of 377 feet and 3 inches, it's easily one of the largest yachts in the world. Polaris was built at the Lursen Yard in Bremen, Germany, to the design of Tim Haywood, and was launched in 2003. It was briefly owned by a Saudi businessman, who sold it to Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich the following year. Abramovich had it refitted to his own requirements by Blom & Voss, another German manufacturer. This included the addition of a second helicopter pad, four new zero-speed stabilizers, and modifications to the exhaust, mast, and stern. In 2011, he sold Polaris to David Geffen for $200 million. Polaris is powered by two 5,500-horsepower Wartzilla engines, which will give her a maximum speed of 19 knots, but often cruises between 12 to 14 knots. The yacht has a number of tenders on board and a garage full of goodies, including jet skis and wave runners. A full-time crew of up to 46 people lives aboard all year long. Polaris can often be found cruising around the Western Meridian during the summers, and commonly cruises down through the Suez Canal for the winters. Most recently, Mr. Geffen sold Polaris to Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan for $250 million. The yacht was then based in Abu Dhabi. Geffen still owns his yacht Rising Sun, which was built for Larry Ellison. The boat is currently valued at $300 million. Coming in at number 9 is the German-built mega-yacht Al Said. Al Said offers accommodation for up to 65 guests. It is also capable of carrying up to 150 crew on board to ensure a relaxed luxury yacht experience. Its majestic interior features classically paneled wood walls, huge entertaining and reception spaces, including a large concert hall that can accommodate a 50-piece orchestra. Al Said features a displacement steel hull and aluminum superstructure with teak decks. This luxury yacht is also fitted with zero-speed stabilizers, which work at anchor, increasing onboard comfort when the yacht is stationary, particularly in rough waters. Powered by two 11,149 horsepower diesel engines and propelled by her twin screw propellers, Al Said is capable of a top speed of 25 knots and comfortably cruises at 22 knots. In case you're wondering who could afford this mammoth watercraft, it's none other than the Sultan of Oman, Qaboos bin Said Al Said. As Sultan of the Gulf State, he's worth well over $1 billion, and yet he has more than $300 million tied up with the Al Said. When she travels, she's escorted by the Oman Navy. This is yet another vessel built by Lursen in Germany. In fact, it was intended to be the sister ship to Polaris and was delivered to its owner in 2009, commissioned by a Russian billionaire and ultimately delivered to a powerful Middle Eastern family. The 110-meter Radiant did more than just mesmerize anyone who sees it. Its build and subsequent sale became a breakthrough public case and enlightened many as to the actual costs in building a mega yacht and the processes of selling one. In early 2004, the late Boris Berezovsky, one of Russia's most influential billionaires, set out to build a a 110-meter yacht at Lursen to be called Darius. After some negotiation, Berezovsky decided to build the yacht, which would cost him 148,540,000 euros, which were payable by installments plus interior fitting costs. As the economic crisis hit, Berezovsky was unable to pay his seventh installment of 23,890,421 euros in May 2008 and decided to put the yacht on the market as a yacht that was still in construction. The Russian billionaire then contacted brokerage firm Edmonston to sell the yacht at a target of $320 million. Radiant's interior configuration had been designed to comfortably accommodate up to 20 guests overnight in 10 cabins. She's also capable of carrying up to 44 crew on board to ensure a relaxed luxury yacht experience. Other amenities include anchor stabilizers, jacuzzi, an elevator, helipad, beach club, tender garage, swimming platform, air conditioning, gym, swimming pool, and cinema. Super Yacht A is the prized possession of Russian billionaire Andrei Melnichenko. The $323 million vessel has a mast taller than London's Big Ben and is more next to Melnichenko's second favorite yacht, the $240 million Motor Yacht A. The three-masted monster is currently moored in Monaco. Even though Monaco is a haven for the world's ultra-rich, these boats still stand out for their incredible beauty and opulence. The staggering yacht is a 468-foot-long vessel, which has three 300-foot masts. The super yacht boasts eight floors, with a helicopter pad on one of the decks and an underwater observation room. It's powered by 
a hybrid diesel electric package with controllable pitch propellers and is designed to accommodate 20 guests and a crew of 54. Project director Dirk Klusterman called the yacht the most challenging assignment of his career. He added that he was confident Super Yacht A will be the world's greatest yacht in terms of design and technology for the years ahead. Mr. Melnichenko, a 45-year-old Russian industrialist worth around $11 billion, deals in fertilizer and coal. He's the main shareholder of Eurochem, one of the leading fertilizer producers in the world. Other amenities include a fleet of jets and a limousine garage for transporting Melnichenko to and from his watercraft. The Serene Yacht is one of the biggest in the world and has served as a floating home for some of the world's most elite individuals. The ship was built for Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Scheffler for $330 million. In the summer of 2014, Bill Gates leased the yacht for $5 million per week. In 2015, while vacationing in the south of France, Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia bought the vessel for approximately $330 million. Of course, this was before Prince Mohammed bin Salman got into deep water of his own for the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, but he did have some issues with the boat before the scandal. In 2017, the mega yacht ran aground in the Red Sea, 20 nautical miles east of popular Egyptian holiday resort Sharm El Sheikh. The vessel was reportedly bow up on the rocks and had sustained structural damage to the bull, bow, and hull. The hull was allegedly punctured forward. There were concerns about it sustaining further damage on the rocks. The cause is thought to be a navigational track error and propulsion failure. This faux pas was truly unfortunate because this ship included some of the greatest amenities of any extant vessel. Among her many features, Serene boasts two helicopter landing platforms, hot and cold jacuzzis, health club and spa, cinema, children's playground with indoor climbing wall, a slide between the decks, storage for a large submarine, and a huge internal sea water pool, which can be adapted to be used for tender docking. Then there's a dance floor complete with bandstand, a wood fire pizza oven, and a teppanyaki grill, plus an enchanting Nemo room that allows guests to view all the subsea marine life. This is another super yacht owned by a Gulf billionaire. In this case, the 531 monster boat is owned by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. He's the ruler of Dubai. He's also vice president and prime minister of the United Arab Emirates. Dubai's luxurious interior design blends bold colors with fine fabrics and intricately detailed handmade mosaics. A spectacular staircase creates Dubai's showpiece. Bathed in natural light from the top deck, this dramatic circular staircase features glass steps, which change color. Dubai's spacious decks offer a split-level owner's deck, a large social area, including the main lounge with its centerpiece red sofa, numerous VIP and guest suites, and a crew area to accommodate 115 people, including crew and guest staff. With seven decks, Dubai has a wealth of sunbathing areas, a striking mosaic swimming pool, and several jacuzzis. It can accommodate a helicopter of up to 9.5 tons and can carry two 10-meter long tenders. Dubai has a displacement of 9,150 tons, yet can reach an impressive 26 knots at maximum speed. She has exceptional worldwide capability, with a range of 8,500 miles at 25 knots, powered by four MTU diesel engines. Complete with a staff of 88 crew, the Dubai is valued at over $350 million. Topaz is owned by billionaire Mansour bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Ayan, Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and member of the Abu Dhabi Royal Family. He's also owner of the Manchester City Football Club. Topaz has been designed to accommodate up to 62 guests in 26 cabins. It's also capable of carrying up to 79 crew. The stunning yacht excels not only for its monumental size, but is also one of the most luxurious and comfortable we've seen. It's equipped with a gym, swimming pool, two hot tubs, a conference room, movie theater, and elevator, as well as two heliports. Its interior was custom designed by Terence Disdale and the exterior by the renowned team of Tim Haywood Design. The skillful engineers from Lursen Yacht Shipyards in Bremen, Vegesock, Germany were responsible for the construction of this beautiful vessel. The Topaz has a steel hull with aluminum superstructure and is powered by two Palstic diesel engines that produce 7,900 horsepower each. Her cruising speed is 22.9 knots and the maximum speed is estimated to be around 25.5 knots. She also has special stabilizers to ensure comfort on board when the yacht is anchored, especially in rough water. Since a member of the royal family owns the yacht, its manufacturers and designers have not disclosed details of the interior. However, it is known that Disdale, responsible for the interior design, arranged and furnished it as a beach house, a design concept for luxury yachts that favors a relaxed and functional style and offers the experience of sailing without the excessively formal and severe environments of a family mansion. Experts estimate the vessel is worth an astounding $527 million. 
The title of third most expensive yacht in the world belongs to the German-built Goliath Azam. At 590 feet long, the Azam is known to be the largest superyacht in the world. Although there is no strict definition, a superyacht is generally understood to be a yacht that is at least 78 feet long, according to the Warsash Superyacht Academy. When it was launched in 2013, the yacht broke the record previously held by the Eclipse, a 533-foot yacht owned by Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich. Luxury yacht Azam is able to navigate at speeds of more than 30 knots. The yacht is powered by a combination of two gas turbines and two diesel engines, with a total of 94,000 horsepower. It's rumored to feature a bulletproof master suite and a missile defense system. On top of this, it includes anchor stabilizers, a gym, spa, jacuzzi, elevator, helipad, tender garage, swimming platform, air conditioning, and beauty room. The Azam cost an estimated $600 million to build and was constructed over the course of four years. In 2017, a Norwegian billionaire ordered the construction of a high-tech yacht called the Rev that is supposed to be 597 feet long, which would be longer than the Azam by 7 feet. The vessel is currently valued at $650 million. We've already mentioned this Roman Abramovich-owned behemoth on our countdown. In the world of soccer, Roman Abramovich is a popular figure, as he owns the leading English club, Chelsea. The Russian businessman helped the Blues to become the big spender in the transfer market, spending millions of euros to help bring the top players to his team. But in the world of yachting and lavish lifestyles, Abramovich is best known for the Eclipse. Eclipse's interior configuration has been designed to comfortably accommodate up to 36 guests overnight in 18 cabins, comprising a master suite and 17 VIP staterooms. It's also capable of carrying up to 70 crew on board to ensure a relaxed luxury yacht experience. Her generous deck areas play host to a wide range of amenities, including an outdoor bar, jacuzzi, and ample space for sun lounging and relaxing. This $1.5 billion yacht dwarfs the price of most other boats on our list, making it the second most expensive yacht in the world. We've seen some opulent yachts, but the 100-foot History Supreme takes the golden-crusted cake. Stuart Hughes, a British purveyor of luxury gadgets, took a break from his role as an iPad alchemist to create the $4.8 billion superyacht, covered in platinum and gold from bow to stern. Mr. Hughes said much of the staggering sum is due to its gold and dinosaur bone features. The base of the yacht, as well as the deck, dining areas, rails, and anchor are wrapped in solid gold, and the sleeping areas are covered in platinum. Also on board is a luxury liquor bottle featuring an 18.5 carat diamond, one of the world's rarest, along with a panoramic wall aquarium made from 68 kilograms of 24 karat gold. Purchased by an anonymous Malaysian businessman, History Supreme is the most expensive yacht ever sold. The Daily Mail reports that the impressive vessel took three years to complete and used over a staggering 220,462 pounds of precious metals. The exorbitant price tag is also the result of the lavish master bedroom, adorned in platinum, with a wall feature that is made from meteoric stone and a genuine T-Rex dinosaur bone. It's rumored that Robert Kuwak purchased the superyacht, worth 10 times the amount Roman Abraham Abramovich paid for the Eclipse mega yacht. Kuwak is one of only three Malaysians with a net worth of $5 billion or more, according to Forbes Billionaires list. If the purchase price is accurate, the most likely buyer is Robert Kuwak, the richest man in Malaysia, with a net worth of $12.5 billion, reports Business Insider.